I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong Competition Rules, also known as MCR. This rule set was compiled by an international consortium to encourage international players to compete. That way, no matter what your background is in regards to Mahjong, you can find some kind of scoring element that you're comfortable with. I have a lot of experience with different versions, so I have found some elements that I am familiar with, but there are some on there that I have never played. So these random pulls might be a good way to get used to some of those unknown elements. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you learn all the different scoring for MCR. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled a four, so we'll be in north seat. So it is east round, north seat. I have my player reference here. There's a link to this below the video all those scoring elements. Let's see how it goes. Flower. Any flower is a point. So we have one point already. We have two pair here. One two okay let's see six four five six four five six i know there are middle numbers i believe is what it's called middle numbers middle tiles middle tiles is 24 points four five six Middle tiles, four puns or chows in a pair using four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, five, six, four, five, six. So we would have five discards and just gather four, five, six. I think I would try for middle tiles. This is very similar to middle chows in Wright Patterson style. So that was kind of an easy one for me to identify. Another option might be, let's see, maybe mixed triple chow. Three chows of the same sequence in a different suit. That's eight points. We have four, five, six, four, five, So I think I would keep the three just in case three, four, five came in because we could do mixed triple chow. That is eight points plus the flower. That would be nine. So I think I would try for middle tiles first and then maybe fall back to mixed triple chow. If you would do something differently, write random pull one and what you would have done differently. Let's go on to the next one. This time, eight. So that would be north seat again. And we're on south round. Let's see here.
Okay, for this one, I would try for half flesh dragon pong. That would be six points for half flesh. Wait a minute. Half flesh is six. Dragon pung is seven. We need one more fawn or one more point, I should say. So I think I would probably try for pairing up these or hope for a flower. There are eight flowers. So I would hope for maybe a flower to help me get up to eight. Half flesh is only six fawn or six points, I should say. Six points. Hmm. Six, seven, pair up or flower. That's how I would play this. That would squeak in at eight points. If you would do something different for random pull two, write that in the comment section below. We do have all the sevens. Let's look and see how much mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is eight. Eight, nine. So I think what I would do is hold the sevens, discard this first. If I draw cracks, stick with half flesh. If I pair up a dragon, stick with half flesh. If I draw a flower, half flesh. If I draw an eight, nine, in bam or dot, consider mixed triple chow and discard these. Okay. West round six, that would be south. Mix triple chow. Eight, nine, seven, nine, seven, eight. I think I would probably, let's see, we are south. All of these could potentially bring score if we pair up. So I think I would probably discard these back here and try for mixed triple chow. Maybe Pung of Dragons or my Seat Wind. That's how I would do this one. If you would do something differently here, write that in the comment section. Okay, so mixed triple chow, that is eight points. And then if we paired any of these up, we could just add those. Wait, are we on that already? North round? East, south, west, north. I guess we're on north round. I rolled a six. That would be south. Okay, so we have winds and a dragon. We've got five cracks, a pair of twos, and a one five. One, two, three. Let's see. I want to look at knitted. Knitted. Let's see here. Greater honors and knitted tiles. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. I'm trying to train my mind to consider knitted or lesser honors and knitted tiles. Lesser honors and knitted tiles. 
whenever I have single honors. But in this case, we don't have enough of the suits, I don't think, to work with. One, four, seven, we have a one. Two, five, eight. And then three, six, nine. So we have one, two. I wonder if you can use a pair in there. Each suit must be represented. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, if we played that, let's see. One, one, two, let's see. How does this work? One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Single Winds and Dragons. Three, six, nine. Oh, but I think they have to be mixed suit. So this would have to be a dot or a bam. And we would need sixes, which we have none. Yeah, I think that's a stretch. So I think what I would try here Oh boy, probably a half flesh, four discards, including a pair, but a half flesh is six points. A half flesh would be six points. We would still need to get two points from somewhere. Flowers or pair up, we're south. I would hold these because that's the seat win and this is the wind of the round. We could throw that maybe later, but get rid of these first and play half flush. I'm gonna have to study out the knitted tiles, knitted, lesser honors and knitted tiles. Lesser honor and knitted tiles. Whenever you get single honors, think about greater honors and knitted tiles and lesser honors and knitted tiles. I will have to study those more. Let me know what you thought about those random pulls. I think this is going to be a great exercise to try to apply these scoring elements that I'm not familiar with. You got to be able to see those opportunities from the onset, but stay flexible during the pick and discard phase of the game, especially based on what is going on at the table. For example, if people start exposing chows, or if their discards are looking as if they're maybe ready to win, you might change your mind from playing a big hand to playing something quick and easy, which is gonna be a challenge for me because I like to play for big hands. I think this is gonna be a real mindset change for me, which I'm kind of excited about. If you haven't looked into it yet, there are links below the video that you can look at to familiarize yourself with this version. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.